Ron McGill here with episode two of our special series on Zucatomy on Dinosaurs Live. Check it out. Ed Montanier was a bulky armored dinosaur with a highly developed sense of smell, thanks to an extensive and uniquely folded nasal passage. This would have helped him seek out food as well as avoid predators. Standing six feet tall with a total length of 22 feet, these herbivores could weigh up to 8,000 pounds and were found in North America during the Cretaceous period. They resemble giant versions of the horny toads that are found in today's American West. Triceratops translates to three-horned face, from the Greek tri meaning three and keratops meaning face. Two theories suggest how their horns were used. One says they were used to defend themselves in combat against other dinosaurs. The second suggests that its horns served a limited purpose in combat and were instead used during courtship. Utah Raptor was discovered in 1991, and as you may have guessed, its name is a reference to the state in which it was discovered. This dinosaur was armed with claws on each finger of its hands, a 15-inch massive claw on one toe of each hind foot, and razor-sharp teeth. Though it is believed to have had feathers, it could not fly. However, it was a very fast and agile predator that could take down prey several times larger than itself. This carnivorous dinosaur could stand 10 feet tall with a total length of 23 feet and weigh up to 2,000 pounds. Today's double wattled cassowary shared several similarities to the Utah Raptor, such as being feathered and flightless, while also possessing massive claws in its feet, capable of fending off any threat. Hey, that concludes this edition of Zoo Academy Live. We hope to see you at the zoo soon so you can see these amazing animals for yourself face to face. Until then, stay tuned for episode three on Dinosaurs Live during the next Zoo Academy. Hi, Ron McGill here with another edition of Questions and Answers on Zoo Academy. Today's first question comes from Brian. Now, Brian lives in Bonita Lakes, and in the evening around dusk, he hears something very unusual, almost like a barking sound, but he never can find anything. And every time he gets close to try to record it, it shuts up. He's tried to record it, never been successful. He's listened to all kinds of frog sounds on the internet, doesn't match anything of what he's hearing. What could it be? Well, Brian, I haven't heard the sound, so I can't tell you for sure, but I'm gonna give you an educated guess. My guess is it's probably a tokay gecko. This is an introduced gecko, an introduced lizard from Asia. It's one of the largest geckos in the world. It can get to be, God, close to a foot long. And the sound it makes at dusk, especially at this time of year, it starts with like a trill. It kind of goes, and then it goes, and it does that over and over, and then it kind of fades out like it's running out of air. It kind of goes, and that's the sound that Toke Gecko makes. And basically, it's males calling for females when that time of year now, spring into summer, where they're going to breed and they're going to reproduce. So, it's not a dangerous lizard, it's not a venomous lizard, um, it's not going to attack you. However, if you try to grab it, it can give you a nasty bite. So I don't advise you to do that. Just leave it alone, listen to the sound, and know what it is. Look it up and tell me if it's a match. All right, our next question comes from Emery. And she asks, how long can a cheetah run fast for? Good question. As most of us know, the cheetah is the fastest land animal on Earth. It can go from zero to 60 miles an hour in less than four seconds. Having said that, it can't maintain that speed for an extended amount of time. It can only run that fast for about 30 seconds max. And after that, it needs a lot of time to recover, to catch its breath. It takes an awful lot of energy to go that fast that quickly. As a matter of fact, even if a cheetah is successful in making a kill, no matter how hungry it is, it's usually not gonna eat right away. It has to recover, it has to catch its breath. That sometimes can take five minutes, sometimes it can take a half an hour, depending on how fast and how long the run was. So, cheetahs can run fast for only about 30 seconds. Next, we have from Isabella. Why does a sloth bear have big canine teeth if it only eats bugs that it can suck up? I thought that it may be for ripping up the bark off of trees, but that's what the claws are for, right? You're right, Isabella. Claws are used for ripping the bark off of trees, ripping into termite mounds, getting those grubs that the bears love to eat. They're also used to defend themselves because bears sometimes have confrontation with other bears to protect themselves from a challenger of territory or female trying to protect herself from a male that she doesn't want to be with. Anyway, they can be 
you know, attacked maybe by a leopard. There are other animals that challenge them. So those claws can be used to protect themselves. And that's what those big canine teeth are mainly for, to protect themselves. They don't really use them that much for eating or anything like that. They are a form of protection for the sloth bear. So I hope I've answered your question there. Canine teeth are for protection. Claws are for protection and digging. They have that specialized open gap in their mouth and those specialized lips to suck up their bugs, which are their favorite prey. So that's it for this edition of Questions and Answers on Zoo Academy. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.